there are different kinds of approaches so far as history of environment is concerned. One approach would be to look at the actual environment in which past societies had thrived or got extinguished in the processes due to natural and man-made disasters. Now, For that, we have to involve a lot of different kinds of researchers taking recourse to multidisciplinary orientation using such investigative tools, for example, palynological, climatic, hydrological, geological researches. History is to do with human beings. Yeah. And in order to understand human concerns about environment, we have to look into the sources which are related, which reflect how human beings had engaged in the past with their own surroundings. Now, every society has recorded their experiences of the nature, their uh, environment and the natural disasters in their own ways. And ancient Indian history is no exception. You see, basically we have to understand that it is the human concern for existence and better existence in their natural surroundings, which led to such human engagements with nature and environment. And this is reflected in practical ways also. So nature has been looked at as a source of sustenance, as a source of resources for life, as well as one setup within which human life thrives. Right. So ma'am, you want to say that there was no uniform way to look at the issue. There was no homogeneous way to look at the issue. Uh, that means uh, they looked at the things at different ways. Naturally, because we find that we are looking at a society which traversed a very big time temporal as well as spatial zone. Different kinds of societies, different kinds of sections within the societies would engage with environment in different ways. You know, and it, it all arose out of the practical necessity of human beings in their daily daily life. Okay. In the in the early Indian context, we have to also understand the fact that the kind of anxieties that human society is facing today in the 21st century would not have been there. Right. Because nowadays the, the kind of depletion of the ozone layer or the natural forest cover that has led to this kind of concerns was not there. So population was at its minimum. Lifestyles were so simple that uh, exploitation of nature was at its minimum. So the considerations that were there were actually for betterment of life. And nature and environment was the best resource that human being had. We find that more of an orientation of exploitation of nature that we find. But also on the other hand, especially in the early Indian context among the all the earliest civilizations, we find that there was uh, the evolution of a philosophy of nature, of a conception of man in nature vis-a-vis -vis man and nature. Right. Okay. So nature and environment was integral to human existence. That was also understood in the early Indian scope of uh, you know engagements